this is Angela McFarlane and you're stamping with AMAC for our last project for the retreat we will be making this cute little giant matchbox so it's not so little you can use it to pop some gifts or something inside and we'll be assembling the box and decorating it so you'll have all your bits and pieces in your brown paper bag that you'll need for the project. Now to assemble the box, you need to pre... Um, the All of the seams have been pre-scored already, so you just need to fold them back and burnish them. These small flaps uh, will fold backwards the opposite direction. So everything else will fold in so just need to make sure that everything is burnished nicely it will help you to um, when you assemble the box it will be very helpful for you it'll just help everything sit together better okay the little flaps get folded back on themselves and you'll see why as we go along so these thin ones I've got that one done this one and this big one here which will form the base is scored opposite as well so we have the box opened out like this you will want to get these four little flaps fold them in first so we just want to push that together like that and then you'll get this side flap and fold that over and just push that in on itself and you can see this little thin flap is facing inside the box and you'll repeat the same on the other side and we'll just push that in so then with this section that's got the slit in it we're going to simply now push that into the box this box doesn't require any gluing at all so you'll see what this slit in here will be used for shortly and then this other panel that's going to form the side of the box and then this one will just lock everything into position so you can see how easy it is to assemble the box if anyone's got any questions at the retreat come and see me then for our little sleeve all you need to do is squish that back on itself to open it out and that is our little box assembled then we come to the decorating everyone will have different designer series paper inside their little box you choose what side you want um, to be showing on your box what i would recommend though is that you have your join on top of your box because that's going to get covered up by your label so i just create some little creases as i go around so my little belly band will be nice and snug just crease them with my fingers and then I'll just pop a bit of tape I always like to pop a bit of tape on the top side of one and the underneath of the other that way when it's stuck together it's going to be stuck along this seam and it's going to be stuck along that seam as well and I'm not sticking my belly band to the box so if you do want to reuse your box you can so there we have the belly band and then all you need to do is attach this layer over the top and once again because i want my belly band removable i will just pop a few bits of tape this way make sure they're going to be covered up by my label And just center my label on the box 
okay then this piece here out of vellum is your little mini envelope so it's really simple to assemble all you need to do is fold everything along the score lines <coughs> And I'll get my bone folder out in a second and just give that a better crease. Do the side flaps as well. The vellum is a little bit harder to, um, to sort of crease when when you run it through the die cutting machine but it does still work so there we have the little envelope i fold my little side flaps in on themselves and then the bigger one over the bottom to attach that i will use a mini glue dot and i will just put that on these two side bits and then close that over the top so that's stuck down nicely and then as an extra little decoration you've got a little heart in your little packet and I'll just pop another glue dot on top of that and just stick that over the top to cover my gl other glue dot that I use to keep the envelope together so that is that part so you can position your little heart whichever way you want it to go just spin that around a little bit then to attach your little envelope to um, your top of the box you can either use another little glue dot or a bit of tape or something and I'm just going to pop that sort of there then you have your little hello which you can just pop inside your little envelope as well you have a little snail that's been stamped and cut out for you that is for you to color in using whatever you want to use whether you want to use alcohol blends or uh, watercolors or something else it's entirely up to you and then I've just attached that with uh, dimensionals as well and then you have a little mushroom and both my multi glues are almost out so I just give it a bit of a shake I just put a little bit of glue less is more with this glue on there so that's going to sit there and then when i color in my little snail i'll pop that up on a dimensional and that's what your finished product will look like so i hope you've enjoyed that it's super easy and super cute and it's a really sweet little gift box that you can use um i hope you've enjoyed that happy stamping and happy assembly I'll catch you later. Bye.